Hi, Leo. Welcome into a general weekly reading for you. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing out there. Um, I really feel right off the bat, it's going to be a very positive and enjoyable kind of week for you. You're embodying giving off very sunny energy, all right? It's as if you're finding it easy to uh, enjoy even the mundane tasks and routines and um, you know when fulfilling obligations otherwise but I feel like you are getting to know yourself a bit better throughout this specific uh, week period because I wouldn't be surprised if you're continuing to change on a soul level all right and that's quite evident in regards to when you're holding back when you're connecting with people when you're expressing yourself I really feel like it's a week where you're very expressive okay your hand gestures are very uh, much a part of that uh, maybe as well coming into play as I stutter a bit uh, when it comes to your work uh, maybe in regards to a hobby or two uh, and as well when it comes to how you are walking okay strutting your stuff if you will but the five of wands in reverse it feels like this collective has dealt with a lot of uh, chaotic or uh, I'm hearing disturbing energy okay negativity maybe um, but I feel as if it's a time for you where you're needing to be one with the peace that you truly deserve as they push me to sit back in my chair a bit more because it feels like at times you're on the edge of your seat or you're just uh, things affecting you a lot like myself whether it's energy noise which is energy right um, it could be in regards to say work for some or maybe financial struggles or that relationship or several uh, connections in your life playing into what normally would be at least part of this five of wands energy if not fully so it feels like this is a week of peace, okay? And that's helping you enjoy things more. It's making things feel a lot brighter and you're feeling more grounded throughout the week than I feel you have been recently. Um, even if you are not one to notice when you're lacking that grounded way of being. But the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, as well as just saw the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this is a week of progress, my friend. You're making progress in regards to maybe cleaning things up, perfecting this or that in your life, maybe in regards to changing, adjusting uh, things to your favor. But I feel like somebody is putting in the hard work when it comes to maybe um, self-care, maybe when it comes to, um, again, cleaning things up is what I'm getting, but as well, it could be, you know, work, a hobby, and you're seeing the abundance come through because of it. You can't help but want to get to know one particular person throughout the week better, whether they just uh, are entering your life now or did recently, for some, you've known them for a while, but you know, they, I feel, if that's the case, have been changing as well. And so this is intriguing you, okay, to get to know them a bit better. But I do want to tell you that you are meant to meet somebody new for a lot drawn to the reading. And for somebody, it's online, okay? Uh, it could be through your work. Or for somebody, it's a random encounter uh, at a store, okay? A storefront is what I'm hearing. But it, there's an electrifying vibe about you, but in a peaceful way that people are liking, okay? It's drawing people back in, it's keeping people uh, noticing you, all right? Um, who you choose to ignore or disconnect from, maybe pass on by is what I'm getting. It just feels like this is so purposeful for you because maybe they did you dirty uh, recently or in general. Uh, in general, I said that really weird. Uh, or maybe it's just you remembering or noticing for the first time or in a different way that they are just not your type of energy, okay? Um, a very Four of Cups kind of uh, message coming through. It's important for this Leo Collective, especially throughout this week and moving forward, to notice more so and not forget who and what is not serving you or who uh, doesn't have your back, okay? Because uh, just as much as people in your waking worlds um, uh, cannot have your back or may not, spirits as well can embody that kind of energy anyways didn't mean to say that but uh, we also have again the wheel of fortune and the six of wands i feel like you are needing to heal my friend all right um at certain points throughout the week whether it's more so physical healing could be emotional healing needs to take place um it also feels like your mental status needs uh, a break okay whether you're an overthinker could be like myself where spirit speaks through your mind way too often. It's exhausting, okay? Um, sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning and spirits are just having a conversation or just pretending to do a reading through my mind. It's, it's so unnecessary. But the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune coming through because I feel like this is a time of victory. It's a time where you're getting to 
uh, the point quite quickly, okay? Whether you, like myself, are spoken through or just uh, sometimes uh, overspeak, right? Or uh, have run on sentences, you could find that you just over explain at certain points, even when you don't mean to or don't want to. You're getting to the point, okay? And it's uh, saving you time, energy, and it's very efficient and uh, helping you produce more for somebody, okay? That sounds good for me and my readings. But I feel like you are um, putting on a bit of a show at certain points when maybe you don't mean to. You might be choosing to. You know, I mean, that is uh, typical kind of stereotypical Leo energy. Um, but I feel like people are viewing you as a wounded warrior. Even if you're not feeling that way in the moment or in general, uh, people see that you do go through it. Um, but it's not changing how you're shifting through, uh, you know, navigating through the week. It's again a time for you where even if you do feel kind of nine of wands ish you're uh very much the sun card okay i mean we do represent uh that energy within the tarot deck that card but it feels like it's a time for you where again uh that sunny energy is helping you um oh we didn't say it yet but it's helping you gain victory okay it's like one victorious moment achievement leads to the next it motivates you to do more it motivates you to maybe do less of something that's been holding you back or weighing you down um, I feel like you are thinking about a risk you once took and spirit is saying, well, it hasn't it been paying off. Yeah, I get it. It, it hasn't been 100% easy or uh, perfect, but um, it hasn't, uh, it's not meant to be perfect. Okay. Um, perfection is not attainable, but it feels like you will be striving for little bits and pieces of perfection throughout the week, whether that's coming through when you feel the need to or want to clean, right? Organize might be in regards to your physical appearance. Um, it may as well be in regards to uh, work that you're getting done in one, if not multiple ways. But they're saying don't let that process of you trying to perfect get the best of you. Okay, just do what you got to do, do what you want to do, and then put your hands up and say imperfection is also a beautiful part of my Leo path. Um, there's something about your eyes. They're very captivating. It's kind of um, interesting to mention when I'm choosing to wear glasses this morning because I am extremely tired. But... I feel like you are very chatty at certain points and then the silence speaks uh, for itself. You know, say somebody is trying to speak to you or you're just very quiet at work or maybe at home. It's like you're sending a message, okay? If not several in that moment. But I feel like you are a star, my friend, okay? There's as well a focus on a new beginning of importance for you in the near future, some of which it's a leap towards a new place of residence. It could be in regards to a relationship. Um, it could be, uh, you know, a number of things. But I feel like you are allowed to choose something different. I don't know why I feel the need to say that. Um, because it feels like maybe you had your heart set on something specific, right? Um, or maybe that's intertwined with or connected to someone else in your life and how they view things or how they, okay, raised you for somebody. But you're allowed to choose whatever is going to suit you best, whatever feels right for you. I mean, this Leo Collective is very, very intuitive. And so at times you need to remember that that needs to take um, uh, priority number one, all right? Uh, interesting didn't really love that wording but it needs to be the the biggest factor in regards to your choosing process all right and it feels like this is the early stages of the decision so you can uh, pick and choose you can sort through the options you can change your mind once again if you so choose but um, the world card beautiful as well as the three of wands it's a week where you're being pushed to look forward okay look at your bright Leo future and ask yourself how do I want things to look and feel right different uh, in a different manner? Um, if something hasn't been working for you or didn't once work for you or winding back, then choose different. Okay, change it up. Um, go for the option that you wouldn't naturally or uh, quickly go for. Sorry about the background noise, but they're showing somebody with a hammer, you know, connecting to that noise. It's like you're hard at work, you're putting in the effort. At times it doesn't feel like you're putting in the effort because you're going about it in such a peaceful, calm, cool and collected kind of manner, but you are putting in the work and it's helping your world develop and change at, w if, at what feels like a rapid pace, all right? Let the slip ups uh, fall to the wayside as I feel like somebody is going through um, an energetic and maybe even a spiritual, um, okay, increase for somebody, but feels like a spiritual shift in the right direction, whether you're losing a negative or uh, 
torturous, toxic spirit from your life. It could be as well uh, you gaining a new guide or two, okay? Somebody, if not multiple souls to assist you. But it feels like the week as well shows you evidence that you're making the right choices because I feel like you, for whatever reason or reasons at times, question that. You need to be noticing that you are making the right choices left and right time and time again, and it's paying off for you big time, all right? Um, and this will help you, I feel, in the confidence department with certain choices moving forward, all right? It, it's this Leo Collective as well that feels, it feels like you at times make very intuitive choices, but it because it happened quickly or because you don't really notice your intuition as much as you should, uh, you didn't realize uh, or you don't realize your intuitive choices, okay? So you might find spirit pushes you at certain select points throughout the week to stop and ask yourself how you're feeling and notice when you're intuitively on point um, because you may be so spiritually guided like myself that it's easy to forget that um, or not notice it in the moment or you just might be somebody who finds it difficult to trust or notice your intuition. So it's a week uh, as they're showing me the high priestess in a vision um, of a lot of intuition, but spiritual guidance selectively um, scattered you know, throughout the week. Anyways, but we're moving on to the magician. You are once again manifesting, my friend. I'm just gonna uh, throw that out there. But it's a magical week, my friend, where you're, you're changing, <laughs> excuse me. Your world is developing and changing as we speak. And I feel like, again, it's a, a sunny time for you of electrifying victory. Beautiful reading. So if it was truly helpful, uh, don't forget to book a personal reading with myself. Everything lies down below in the description box. Just shoot me a quick email and I will see you next time.